Welcome back to the shop again this week, you guys. Uh, when last we left, we had just glued up our Assyrian bamboo back and belly bow build. Uh, this week, we're going to get everything cleaned up, get all the glue off of there, uh, get her strung, and see just how far we can take it uh, to full draw. All right, guys. So once you have uh, sanded down your edges here, and you've got everything kind of cleaned up, at least on the the uh, sides of your roughed out bow and you still got a lot of this uh, glue residue on its back so you can see all that splotch of epoxy all over the back of this bow uh, this is a real quick way uh, method that I use anyway to take take that off quick uh, because Nothing sticks to bamboo really all that well, at least the exterior rind of bamboo. So I'll take, I'll take my draw knife, and I do not want to work the blade against this at all. I just work the back side, the back side of this draw knife down, and it just knocks all of that, all of that epoxy residue right off the back. Very quick very quick process and then you can just move right on so it just cleans everything right up I'll take care of a bow in two minutes from a starting point feeling really good about how well this project glued up uh, we should be able to uh, uh, move forward without having to do any kind of mitigation work uh, from this point. So now we just get it strung and start checking its bend and, and moving on. So here are the initial bends on this bow. Um, I don't know, it seems all out of kilter to me uh, right off the bat. I mean, I've got what would appear to be a hinge right here, right outside of the... Uh, fade of the riser doesn't seem to be as much here it seems to reside more over here uh, the limbs themselves seem to be basically coming straight um maybe just a smidge of reflex still present in here which might aid in the fact that it's looking a little out of kilter to me. Um, yeah, something just feels a little off, but I, this is just initial bends, so um, we'll work from here. Pulling it to this degree, uh, just getting it to what, what I would consider to be string height, they, there was not much resistance here. So um, my, my secondary thought, not only in kind of how it feels like it's not quite bending right, um, secondary to that, I feel like this is going to end up being a pretty light bow. Um, I, I think that even, you know, a 30 plus pounds in its current state might be, might be optimistic, but uh, we will see what it fleshes out here. Uh, initial bends don't generally mean much, so we will move on from here, guys. Um, I think I'm going to try and shorten the string. Uh, this this phenomenon of a straight limb will probably cure itself when I get the profile of the limbs in a more uh, little more pyramid shape. So as we start thinning these area or narrowing these areas here. We're going to encourage some bend out into the extremities of the limb, which may solve this issue right here. So we, we got we got some we got a lot of a lot of options yet to exercise here before before we panic. We are braced to about six inches right here. Still can see that the the limb on the left hand side there is is weaker than that on the right. Uh, just by the pitch of the grip. Um, it's This bow is ending up to be incredibly lightweight uh, on the draw. I, I'm, I might be... I, I'm still just kind of working on getting basic tiller down. We may, or I may, 
kind of change the course of this particular experiment uh, to be a little more engaged on the uh, length of draw that I can get out of this particular bow. Um, I have gone and thinned the tips down. Uh, they're, they're about a 5 8 inch thick or wide, I guess, would be the better way of saying it. About five inches, five eighths inch wide, pardon me. Uh, the, the bow itself seems to be lining up okay. The uh, limbs themselves are starting to take on a bit of that pyramid shape. I'm gonna do a, a little more extreme pyramid to it to, to really kind of push that bend out into the extremities of the limb on both sides here. Although this this limb is running rather straight and into the fade uh, of the riser there, while this one is showing a little, just the slightest bit of uh, deflex still in there, or reflex rather, pardon me. So <clears throat> might do a little bit of belly removal in here just to get that get that reflex to match what's going on on this side, which should straighten out the grip. All right, so here's where we're at now, guys. Um, did a little work in terms of heat treating that weaker limb, which actually was this one, and it's looking a little more stout in this scenario. Did take off some material on the stiffer limb so really i think it's just a matter of working this in because generally speaking heat treating is a temporary deal or or more along the lines of not having long lasting uh extreme effects so we're, we're going to get some effect on the margin and i believe that that's going to be just enough to bring me back into compliance on that one limb um have taken the rind off of the off of the back and on the belly so not so much of that uh tortoise shell look to it but you can see you can see the heat treating that I did right here and I tried to do intense heat close to the belly so that I didn't get much heat transfer to the backing strip but um the back was warm when I pulled it out of the uh, mold, so I, I don't know I don't know if that was effective or not. To kind of give some reference that the stronger limb was this limb here. This is the limb that I took some material off of uh, the belly, and the um, awkwardness of the shape seems to be disappearing to some degree. This is very straightened out, but I am sure that with a little bit of exercising, I can get that uh, to match this again. Uh, so I think we're closing in on tiller here. Uh, the unfortunate part is the weight, the draw weight, I'm sure is getting away from me. Uh, not that I've taken much material away, but the uh, there it wasn't thick enough in the first place. So that's the unfortunate piece of this. Uh, got a real good pyramid limb shape going on here. The tips are starting to get pretty narrow. They're at about a half inch. A little more narrowing to, to do there. But uh, otherwise, otherwise, I think we're getting to the point where uh, we might be able to start putting a few arrows through this thing. It has gotten incredibly cold here in Colorado. Um, and for that reason, I've been relegated to the uh, garage and uh, no natural light. <clears throat> um, except for when I braved the chill out there to put it on the, put this bow on that, on the tillering tree. At any rate, uh, I've kind of pulled a few nuclear options here uh, with regard to this bow. Uh, and, and where we've kind of been as far as the uh, draw weight and the tiller on it, etc. Um, my weaker limb has resided over here, and you can kind of tell I've still got a little bit of pitch in that grip. Um, 
but the limbs are bending pretty evenly. I think I need to do just a little bit of removal here. Um, I have done a lot of heat tempering on both limbs to kind of get that, that uh, resistance back up. Uh, kind of did a little more so on this limb to try and, and improve its strength qualities versus this limb. Uh, in any event, it's bending relatively evenly. Uh, as I get a little longer in the draw here, this is starting to uh, show a flat spot right here. So I might, I might take a little bit off there. My only concern is that this is kind of like the weaker side over here. Um, I'm kind of relegating myself to the notion that even tiller on this bow is going to show what would appear to be a weaker limb here and I think it has more to do with my riser placement and shape in the grip in the grip area itself uh, where the limbs are pulling evenly uh, they feel even when I when I draw it by hand uh, I think the grip is pitched just as a part of the glue up so something to really pay attention to uh, on future builds now something I have done uh, in addition to all the heat work and tillering work, as I chopped, I took an inch off of each tip. So I've taken this bow from 62 inches tip to tip to what would now be 60 inches tip to tip. And now a 58 inch bow knock to knock. So I've really shortened this guy up. I have narrowed the tips pretty well. Um, they're They're just at about a half inch wide. The uh, alignment is pretty good. I am happy with that. I have gone in and put a, done a little bit of work, oops, with regard to the grip here. So as I approach draw, uh, full draw, I can start to shoot some arrows through it. Um, I am right now pulling 25 inches. At 25 inches, uh, she's pulling at 26 pounds. So I'm, I'm actually climbing back up in the weight range uh, by taking those tips down. I, I was actually pretty surprised. One inch doesn't usually do much uh, with a longbow as far as like buying back, back weight. But it was distinctly stiffer to draw when I uh, strung it up for the first time in its shorter state. So I'm, I might get some draw weight back on this. Now, as I've mentioned, I've only got it to 25 inches at this point. Going to do a little more tillering work on this, this limb right here. Uh, and then um, probably move into the uh, shooting and fine tillering stage or the peaking and tweaking piece of things. However, I think the weather is going to have to change a little bit before I can go there. We have a much better weather day today, so I took the opportunity uh, in the downtime during the cold to make a string for this bow. Uh, something that was kind of working against me as well uh, was the edges, the hard edges on the back side of the, the sias here, uh, working slow torture on my tillering string. And so kind of rounded out the back side here, if you can see. Um, obviously, we're going to narrow these tips out quite a bit more than this uh, but this gives me the opportunity to to really draw draw this bow repeatedly without having too much chafing occurring on the loops of that string uh, the tiller actually i guess i want to point out the we already know that we got one limb kind of a little bit weaker than the other and I'm, I'm right at about a seven and a quarter gap on my lower fade and almost seven, almost seven and a half. So we're talking about a quarter of an inch greater gap on this particular limb, which I will call my top limb. And we've been seeing that uh, as we go, uh, where we're kind of seeing that little bit of a pitch in the grip. Uh, the limbs seem to be bending evenly. 
Uh, I'm going to take it out on the tillering tree here in just a second and show you guys how it bends. Uh, but at this point, um, I'm going to call it tillered to 28 inches. Okay, the wind is really messing with my ability to film here, guys, so I apologize for that. Um, but let's see if we can't get a good look at what this tiller is turning out to be. All right, so here we are, uh, just strong and hanging. Uh, as you can see that the limbs are bending fairly evenly. Pretty pleased with the way it's pulling right now. I can get it out there to 28 inches. Again, one of the things I was thinking about doing with this particular bow is really pushing the draw length portion of this build. And I think I'll be doing that during the peaking and tweaking stage. But as it stands right now, tiller's looking pretty good down to 28 inches. So here we are at 28 and it's pulling, let's see here, right at about 28 pounds. So if I'm gonna get into that 30 pound range, I'm gonna have to draw it further than 28 inches but I think at this point we'll start shooting it in and then comes the peaking and tweaking so guys that'll be the uh, that'll be what we tackle in our next video uh, thanks for joining me this week and I will uh, catch up with you again uh, next week